Hello, welcome to IC Security Labs. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, which is right here, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate those who subscribe in the past 24 hours. I've had over 60 or 70 people subscribe to my channel. So that means this information is actually very useful. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go and hit subscribe below because this content seems to be very useful for some people. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this information right here. The one traffic, the one inbound, and the one out. This is the information that most system administrators would want to know, most network engineers would want to have in the fingertips. They would also want to be notified if the traffic goes above a certain threshold. So. If you are a network engineer and you want to know when you are using too much bandwidth and you also want to be notified and you don't want to pay for the expensive software out there, you want to use Grafana, InfluxDB, and Telegraph, this video is for you. If you haven't looked at Grafana, InfluxDB, and Telegraph, just please go ahead and uh, take a look at this uh, open source project. It's amazing. You can also use it to monitor your CPU for your cluster. If you're using vSphere, you can use all kinds. We can have all kinds of metrics. This is on my dashboard on a TV that I can just look up when I'm at my house. I've had people tell me that my house is well monitored than the infrastructure services. So if you like this kind of things, Please subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments below what exactly you want in your dashboards. Or if you have any questions about setting up your dashboards, I'm always available. You can have a Skype, Google Docs, whatever meeting, I'll be there to help you make sure that you have something that monitors your environment in real time. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and set up this environment and let you know exactly how I have it set up. To begin, I have one single sev Dell server and it's 5.30. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm going to be monitoring. This single Dell server is also running and I actually have a Meraki MX65 that's running. So I'm monitoring what my Meraki MX65 one in the interface is and also what my one out is. So if you're using Meraki, this is probably a good guide for you. If you're not using Meraki, you can still follow this guide. Just customize it to whatever you're using. So without wasting time, let me tell you exactly what I'm using to get this data in Grafana. I'm using this one VM. It's called a data collector. In this VM, I'm actually running Telegraph. So you can go ahead and install Telegraph on CentOS 7, which is what I'm running. Once you have Telegraph running in CentOS, once you have a CentOS setup, just go ahead. If you're using Meraki like me, follow the instructions right here on the Meraki doc documentation. I'm not going to recreate the wheel, but if you still want instructions on how to do it, follow the instructions in my description below. Otherwise, Meraki has step-by-step -step instructions on how to send SNMP data to your SNMP device that will actually pass it. So this is exactly what you have to do. Once you follow these instructions and also the instructions in my description below and you can test that you have data, you can follow me in the next step. Once you have your metrics collector device set up and you also have a um, Telegraph installed. You also want to test a connection to your Meraki device and you will use SNMP walk. So this is the command that you run. It's also in the description below on my blog. As you can see, it's very instantaneous. I get a lot of information. I got a lot of data. That's good. So this means that your setup is actually correct. The next command you want to run is telegraph test. You want to make sure that it actually succeeds just like what mine is showing right now. 
it will show you exactly all the information that you have, including your community string. You want to make sure that all this succeeds correctly. And once it succeeds, you know that you're ready to go to your Grafana to create graphs. So once that succeeds, the next thing you need to do is just go ahead and edit your inputs dot snmp in your uh, data collector. So once you're done, the next thing is we need to edit our telegraph.com file. And for that, we're going to be looking for the inputs dot nsnp. So this is how we do it. You come over here, you want to make sure that your values that are not commented have your server information right here, the agent, that's the um, Merak device, your community string, I'm using Merak was as the default, but you need to change it. Otherwise, everything should look the same. Copy, paste this, or follow my instructions in the, in the description below, and we should have data in our Grafana instance. Once you finish the previous step, you should be able to go to Grafana, create a new dashboard, create a graph. If you do edit, you can choose from here can choose um, SNMP where agent host equals to that. Then you can actually choose some values here. You want uh, the field value to be the octets in. It must be the field if hooked octets in mean derivative one second you want to multiply that by eight and i do explain that on my blog so if you follow the link in the description below you know why we're multiplying by eight but you have to multiply by eight because octets by eight will give you bytes so that's what that is and if you have everything right here you end up with a graph like this and that graph can be put somewhere where you can just see the a standalone graph like this one you can even create the one in and one out from the same information but if you want you can actually just save the graph on one of your main interfaces just like mine where i can tell exactly when i had interface spikes so i hope you guys like this information if you have any questions let me know in the description below otherwise just like and I really appreciate if you actually subscribe. It shows me that people are actually watching this information or the time I'm spending creating the videos is not in vain. So if you like this content, subscribe and like below and I'll keep it coming. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.